What's going on guys? It's Mike with Sony Slope Homestead. And today we're going to be testing Cog Hill's method of starting seeds with a cheap Walmart shop light. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm guilty of buying the expensive, fancy light, uh, grow lights. And if this works, I'm going to feel really dumb. But we're going to give it a shot. We too are growing Haas, Bellarosa's tomatoes. I can't wait to try these out and because it's time to get the garden started with these days and that we live in now everything's crazy grocery stores are running out of stuff i've got to get my garden started and i need a sure way to do it and if this fails probably not gonna get food on the table no i'm just playing but hey one thing man this tp shortage thing is ridiculous and i don't know what's going on but the stuff is disappearing out of my house faster than i can buy it uh I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that today, but all right, stick around for the video. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're always doing something interesting on this channel. We just got goats. Now we're starting our yearly garden. So stick around and hopefully you can see us through this journey. Oh, yes. So we're going to feed these goats real quick. We'll go check on these turkeys because they're getting big and you guys got to see how they're doing. I mean, chickens, uh, chickens. Don't tell Melissa. We're going to check on them, see how they're doing, show you how big they're getting. And then we're going to be planting these seeds. We've got some, a lot of hot seeds in the mail. We got to get those in the, the planters, get them started because it's warming up folks. And we need some tomatoes because I cannot wait to try these Bellarosas. Hey, what's going on guys? These guys have been a real pleasure to have around. I'm telling you what, they are comical. They are so funny. These baby, oh, I'm glad I got goats and I can't wait to get more. Let's feed them. Yeah, so right now I'm just giving them a cup um, of this sweet feed mixed with grain just to give them a little pick me up. I do plan on I do plan on changing up their uh their hay feeder here because it does it allows too much hay to fall through and they you guys are right it is being wasteful but man they love this stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, they love it. I find it extremely funny that if these goats, goats are known for eating anything, but it's not true. They're very picky eaters. Uh, just for the fact that they will not eat their hay if it hits the ground. I mean, eventually they will, but it's not their first pick. And for people who thought goats ate tin cans, You are sadly mistaken. I can tell you one thing. I've got to do something about this sad, very sad strawberry patch. This is getting attention in the near future. And I've had the chickens working on the raised beds. They really like this one in particular. They need to start working on this one. Really need to start turning that soil up. One question I have for you guys is I'm doing potatoes this year. And I'm doing them in cloth pots. Now, they need full sun. And I was wondering, what do you guys think about putting black cloth pots on a gravel driveway through the summertime? Mind you, this gets 10 hours of sun, but it's gonna get hot. Now, how hot, I don't know, but it's a gravel rock driveway. I'm afraid that I'll cook those damn potatoes. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. But they said that they like heat and they like sun and to keep them moist. And I think I can do that on the driveway here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, you chickens are days away from going to gym pop. That's for show. You guys are big. Look at these guys, man. They're huge. These some big old buggers. 
Look at that. Yep, there wouldn't have been much longer before I could tell that you were a turkey. Or at least Melissa would have could have told you were a turkey. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You guys need to go over and check out Cog Hill's channel. He's got a link. Get yourself some of these free Bella Rosa tomatoes from Haas Tools. Uh, they, they, he just raves about them. I can't wait to try them. And the best thing about them is they come in pellet form, like he just said in his last video. I knew they came in pellet form. It was a plus side of getting them for free. I wish I could buy all my seeds in pellet form because it just adds that extra layer of protection. But I can't wait to drop these seeds and get them growing. But I wanted to mention that. Go check them out. All right, so like I said, we're going to plant some Haas seeds today. One being the, the Bella Rosa. Can't wait for that one to germinate. The other one being this mortgage tomato. Now, this one I read about said it produces tomatoes that are like over one pound. And if you read up on why it's called the mortgage tomato, it's a pretty interesting story. So check that out. And then obviously, yeah, we're going to do some cucumbers. I'm not sure if it's too early to start these, but I got more than enough seeds here to get going. And uh, if not, you know, We'll, we'll keep them inside. What I like to do is I'll put these trays inside here like this, so on and so forth, and then I'll pour my dirt on top of it. I don't mind wetting the dirt down. It's just a mess, and I like doing things the dry way. So let's get some dirt dropped in these, get our seeds in, and get these things on the heat pad and get them underneath the lights and see what we can do. All right. So, we're going to do three trays of each of these seeds, and uh, I don't plan on harvesting that many plants, but we're going to grow them anyways, and then I'll give them out to uh, friends and whoever. So, we're going to start with the Bella Roses first. I can't wait for that one. Oh my gosh, can't wait. So there's nine of those Bella Roses planted. This is what I wanted to show you. Is that right there? Is I love the fact that these things are in pellet form. Awesome. Next one. Oh, I opened it from the wrong side, guys. Gosh. What was I thinking? Oh, these are just little guys. If you could see that, that's why I like pellet form. Because these things are super tiny. And you get a little one, and you get a little one. You know, I decided to give Haas a try, guys. And the reason for it is not because of advertisement or influence. Because I'm sick and tired of buying seeds from the box stores that either don't germinate or they don't survive long enough because they're not disease resistant or they're just not good good seeds to begin with you know what I mean and I'm just done with it I'm not saying that you can't get seeds and stuff to grow that's not what I'm saying at all because a lot of people have a lot of good luck with seeds from the box stores me I want to try something that has a little bit more higher quality and that is it and if my buddies will say that this uh these seeds are worth a shot then i'm going to trust them and i'm going to give them a shot because like i said i'm tired i'm tired of it what the duchess said the other day that what was it lowe's lowe's is Lowe's was making video or Lowe's was uh, selling stuff out of season for crying out loud. Shocker. I'm not trying to be depressing about the day and age we live in right now, guys. It's just the fact that it's time to start trying some new things. Maybe it's time for you to get a couple seed containers on your patio in your apartment. Start growing some tomatoes. Start growing a potato pot. Try something. Don't try to rely on a grocery store for everything that you get. 
Um, because it's a horrible feeling when they're out of it. I mean, horrible feeling. There's nothing more scary knowing that you don't know where you're going to get your food. And, you know, you can't, you could grow everything you want on a homestead. But me, I don't have a whole lot here. But I have enough to get me through some rough times. I've got chickens. I've got eggs that are produced by those chickens. Uh, I have goats. Well, I don't want to eat them, but but I have one that is producing milk. Uh, a garden and so on and so forth. Um, you just get these things planted and it takes a little bit of those worries off of you, you know? And then, uh, and there's nothing wrong with stockpiling. Everybody says these people stockpiling, these people doing this, they're horrible people. People, those are hoarders. Those people are only doing that so they can get an advantage on people. That's the only reason. They're not doing it for self-preservation. They're doing it because they want to sell the items at a higher cost and and they're just they're just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. What I mean by stockpiling, I mean have a healthy supply of canned goods, have beans on hand, long-lasting foods, beef jerky, anything. Anything that can get you through a couple months of not having nothing. That's what I mean by stockpiling. Uh, myself, I like to store a case of two or MREs. I got canned goods. Uh, the only thing I truly, truly, and my wife can contest to this, the only thing I truly worry about, and I still keep on mentioning it, is milk. Guys, I have to have milk. I love milk. It's like one of my vices. I can go without beer. I can go with a lot of different vices, but milk, it's just one of those things that I have to have. <laughs> So, goat's milk it is. And it doesn't bother me none. I'm not picky. My kids and my wife, I'm pretty sure week two of not having milk, they're going to be like, what's that goat milk taste like? Because I drank it for eight months in Iraq, and I tell you what, it was perfectly fine. So, let's get these things inside. So, let me wet these down. We'll get the lids on them, and then we're going to set up the LED light because I, I think I could fit probably six to you know what i'm not going to say that I, I think i can fit nine of these trays under one grow light but we got them all set up guys and girls let's turn her on Woo! that's bright fit nine of these trays underneath here if this works guys if this works this is a very cheap effective way to get your seeds to sprout like I said this light cost me 24 bucks I believe uh, obviously the heat pad for those who don't use these or haven't used these this is about 25 bucks these trays these trays are a dime a dozen uh, you can get these in like 12 packs for like 13, 15 bucks. Um, if it works, it's a very cheap, successful setup. I think it will work given the fact that I've been following COG for a while. I've been looking at this process for a while. Uh, I actually decided to go and do a different route because I thought I had to uh, do the latest and greatest. Thought I had to have the best technology as it comes to lighting for seeds and it sucked. <laughs> Why? because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the lighting part of it. This, extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. And like I said, I could fit like nine trays underneath here if I wanted to. And that's only one light, guys. One light, I could fit at least nine trays. We planted the bell roses that we got free from Cog Hill's link on his channel. Go check that out. These things I think are gonna be amazing. Like I said, they're a, they're a capsulated seed easy planting uh, they're not heirloom but they are a hybrid but he speaks highly of them so we're gonna give him a shot I'm really excited about these hey guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and for those who keep on coming back for more punishment I appreciate your dedication
That's funny, I don't remember leaving that back door open. Huh.